Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I am one of the authors of Technic.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to increase a standard partition in Linux. And we're going to use the root partition as an example. All right, we're going to extend the root partition using the F disk and um, we're going to do this without downtime. We're going to do this online, okay? And um, I'm going to em employ you to take a backup of your system if you can and if it is a vm on azure or any other class services provider i'm going to employ you to take the snapshot of the of the os disk and the reason of the backup of course is to roll back if anything goes wrong anyways if your file system is healthy it is very rare for an issue to occur i've used this process in my lab environment i've used it on the production server and um, it's been successful i've not had any cost to always roll back all right all right so let's verify the file system you can see the root file system on sd3 and it is 6.6 .6 gig so i just want to increase this i can decide to increase it to whatever size i want okay so let's do lsb okay you can as well see the root partition on SD3, I mean the root file system on SD3. So the first step to take is to use the F disk on the SDA device. All right, I can just do P to print. So what we're concerned about is the SDA3. So I can do D to delete, all right? So what I'm doing is uh, I'm not actually deleting the old partition. I'm creating a partition table which remains in the memory, okay? So I'm going to either press, I'm going to either use the, the number three or press enter as default because the default two is three and I'm concerned on um, about partition three. So I press enter. You can see that partition three has been deleted. Okay, so the next step is to um, let's add, let's recreate the partition by using the letter N. Okay, and I'm going to use a primary partition type. Yeah, um, yours might be extended. Um, by default, um, a primary partition can only contain four uh, partitions. Yes. So um, mine, I can still use um, a primary partition because this is the third one. So I'm just going to press the P and the enter key. All right. So the partition number is partition three, which we want to recreate. And I can press enter key, which is the default, or I can just use the number three. Okay, I can use the number three and press enter, or I just press enter key. So I've just pressed the enter key. And I'm going to press an, an, um, enter key again to go to the last sector. So if I want a particular size, say I want, I want to increase it from 6.6 .6 gig to 8 gig. I'm just, I'm just going to put 8 gig. If I want 11 gig, I'm just going to put 11 gig, depending on the size you have on the SD disk. And if I want the entire, the entire disk, I'm just going to press enter, which I want. Okay, and um, it's saying that. Partition 3 has been created, but it contains the XFS signature. Do I want to remove the signature? No. All right. And I'm going to use my P again to print. So you can see Partition 3, which is the dev as a 3, is now 14.6 gig, right? And you can see that the, that the sectors has increased. Okay. So the next step is to write that is to save the settings by using the w um command right i mean sorry the w letter and press enter key okay so you can see that um the partition tape has been altered so let's see let's verify again so sd3 is now um 14.6 gig if i do my df in h so it's still 6.66 .6 gig here so i have to resize the file system 
And um, the file system is xfx, so I'm going to use the command xfx go file system, all right, on device sda3. Let me clear my screen. Okay. So Dave, okay, let's do this if that is not working. Okay, so let's now confirm the file system. So you can see that um, the root file system has been increased. All right, let me clear my screen. So I have some stuff here. Let me just verify my files, okay? So before I did this, I already created some files and I have content in them. So you can see that my files are still here. And I've been able to resize the root file system successfully without a downtime. All right. So you can see my test file one, test file three, and everything is fine. Okay, so thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel. Bye for now.